Yes, and uh, as of this morning, now became Hurricane Hannah here. Here is the radar picture. You can see uh, clear circulation there around the eye. It is still over water, so it could continue to intensify uh, before it approaches the coastline here around Padre Island between Corpus Christi and Brownsville. Uh, but that became a hurricane this morning. We went 75 miles an hour. Uh, the flooding will be a big issue. Storm surge two to four feet along the Texas coast and already seeing the impacts here with some of these bands with the wind speeds increasing. Satellite picture shows uh, the storm continue to develop there right around the center and from the National Hurricane Center the wind now 75 miles an hour uh, it will continue to move off to the west here it's moving just about eight nine miles an hour uh, but the wind speed 75 miles an hour so it did become a hurricane this morning a uh, category one there's the storm size already seeing some of these tropical storm force winds approach the coastline red color indicates hurricane conditions notice these expand well outside of this forecasted cone now so close to the coast they're pinpointing the center of the storm, but we're seeing conditions uh, go up to Corpus Christi and Brownsville. And then as it moves over South Texas and into Northern Mexico, well, then we're seeing the flood threat with flash flood uh, watches in effect and the heavy rain that'll continue Sunday and again into early Monday. But that is the latest there uh, with Hurricane Hannah. It's one of three areas we continue uh, to watch in the tropics. We are watching real time Doppler here across the area. A few clouds building off in the distance and we have a few storms to talk about. Uh, they are pushing through the area and could continue to work their way inland here this afternoon. I'll look in detail of that with a complete forecast when I come back just a little bit later.